Hi guys, so today we are talking all about the old money aesthetic. So the old money aesthetic is characterized by primarily light neutrals and classic pieces with some soft pastels. And we're going to talk about the old money aesthetic, especially how it relates to the body types. So the body geometry types, or if you've heard of kibby body types. So you don't need to know much about kibby body types to enjoy this video. But um, if you do want to learn more, I have a ton of videos on how you can type yourself. And if you are still confused, I also offer typing through my website and I'll leave a link to that down below. Okay, so let's get into talking about the old money aesthetic. All right, you guys, so first I wanted to show you a few examples of what happens when you take the same exact outfit and you sort of put it on a different body type. So you can see here on the left, we have sort of a flamboyant natural beveled firm body type. And on the right, we have a theatrical romantic rounded mixed body type. And you can see it's the same outfit, but I would say that the lady on the right looks a lot more put together in this outfit than the lady on the left. And specifically what I'm looking for is, you know, the the shapes of the outfit the lines of the outfit and this has to do with body type are more flattering to the lady on the right than that same outfit is on, to the lady on the left and so this is what we're going to go through and in this video i used basically the same outfit template for all of the images because i wanted to show the difference in the lines for each of the body types for the same outfit and so with this, you know, especially for the old money aesthetic, I feel that this is important because these are very classic pieces and there's very much a focus on having things that are flattering, things that are classic, classic fits, you know, nothing that kind of looks necessarily over the top. It's all very understated. So it's important for the outfit to almost be um, something that is secondary to your own beauty in a way you know and and you know those neutral colors that understated look and so so i think that body typing and making sure that the lines really fit you is particularly particularly important for old money okay so let me now show you guys so now for this lady if she were to wear the the same type of outfit template but in her own lines i would say this is a lot more effortless on her and it looks a lot more harmonious so you can see that the lines are longer to match the longer lines of her silhouette and now you can see that the outfit on the left is not really that flattering on her as the outfit on the right all right so let's start with the rounded bone structure type or the romantic and so the romantic is going to be really flattered by waist definition by items that are cropped, lightweight fabrics, things that are more figure conscious but still a bit, a bit, um, like leave space for the curves, not something overly tight. So something like this would be perfect, you know, some chiffon and feminine detailing like any sort of sparkly jewelry, any sort of sparkly detailing and some soft curls to the hair will be lovely on any romantic type. And this is what the old money aesthetic would look like in romantic or rounded type lines. So now let's move on to theatrical romantic rounded mixed. And so the way that I see rounded mixed, it's very similar to rounded, right? It's theatrical romantic is very similar to romantic, but the lines themselves I feel are a bit brighter, a bit more dynamic. They have a bit more sharpness. You know, there's a bit more sharpness to the shoulders. Now you don't want to go too bright as a rounded mixed type you know, even for even for uh for rounded mix you wouldn't want to do that for the old money aesthetic because the old money aesthetic doesn't have a lot of bright colors uh, but you can do something like this where it may be a little bit brighter and it's not going to look that bright on you if you are rounded mixed if that makes sense so so bright colors don't look like you're wearing bright colors because it kind of matches with your bone structure type, it matches with your body type, so it just looks like you're just wearing something nice, you know, it won't cross people's minds that you're wearing a bright color. It's not like if you're a dramatic and you wear a bright color in the, uh, in the old money aesthetic, that will really throw off your look, but if you are rounded mixed, it won't really throw things off that much, so I brightened the colors a little bit and I added a bit more of a dynamic color look than for simply rounded or romantic, who looks really wonderful in pastels. 
Uh, now, rounded mix can also do pastels, um, but I personally find that bright colors and more dynamic color options are a bit more flattering on rounded mixed. So now let's move on to blended soft, soft classic. So soft classic is kind of like you could think of it as a very moderate, understated version of romantic. So we have moderate lines, we have pretty minimal detailing, we have some softness to the hair, everything is pretty neat, pretty tailored, and we are adding some lightweight fabrics, we are adding a bit of intricacy to maybe the belt buckle, you know, just a touch of femininity, um, definitely waist emphasis, and the shoes are pretty dainty, things like that. So, so blended soft soft classic is sort of like a very like understated feminine look and i think that works really beautifully for old money of course now classic this almost looks the same blended or classic versus blended soft um, but the difference is that you know blended is going to have pure classic is going to have not as lightweight fabrics and uh, they're going to have even less detailing than blended soft or blended sharpened which is dramatic classic so so this is really the most minimal and moderate look so now we have blended sharpened dramatic classic so things are a bit more stiff a bit more tailored but the length of the lines is still moderate so remember that for romantic and rounded so let's go back the length of the lines is short so things are cropped things are tapered and that is very flattering for rounded for the rounded type or for the mixed type which is the gamine you know we want to have things that are cropped and so that's basically what short lines means is mostly things are cropped and mostly you're breaking up the lines you know with um with some color blocking or otherwise having things be cropped so that's what basically what short lines means and then blended soft has moderate length lines so we don't have as much cropping you know blended it has moderate length lines not as much cropping and blended sharpened has moderate length lines as well and so we don't have any cropping to the pants we don't have any cropping to the sleeves and the lines are very clean and very sleek but they're not incredibly long like they are for dramatic okay so that's the difference between for between sharpened and blended sharpened between dramatic and dramatic classic and the the hair is pretty sleek and smooth you know and it has a, a geometric outline to it so oh and also notice the belt buckle is geometric in this case so so yeah so the lines are very much are a bit more straight up and down and more geometric and so now we have beveled soft soft natural and so soft natural is all about being a bit more unconstructed a bit more loose with the lines but still has that touch of femininity that maybe a little bit of sparkle a little bit of lightweight fabrics a little bit of texture as well because they are beveled they are naturals and so there's some texture to the hair but also some softness and that is going to look really excellent on them now what you want to be careful with if you're beveled soft and you're doing um if you're any natural if you're beveled firm beveled soft and you're doing um the old money aesthetic you want to be careful for it to not look overdone on you because there is a lot of very sort of classic looks in old money for example there is the very very neat hair there is very you know very much very like tailored pieces very clean lines and so what you want to make sure you're doing is maybe going a little bit tousled with the hair but not too much otherwise it's going to look very stiff on you and very overdone and kind of like you're trying too hard which is actually not very old money right to, to try too hard uh, so you want to be careful if you're beveled if you're doing old money um so yeah so you want to do maybe a little bit of tousling uh, a little bit of texture maybe a little bit of um a little bit of an oversized like look some oversized pieces nothing too stiff or tailored now this thing goes for beveled firm you can see that this look is still very much you know it is tailored it does have clean lines but the front tuck kind of gives it a little bit more you know since if you have a shirt that is a bit more like textured and not so stiff and then you do a front tuck it can add more uh, more shapes more texture not make it look so stiff and of course some tousled hair as well for beveled firm for sure 
and um, you know you could do like a tousled low bun or just a tou like slightly tousled hair it doesn't have to be too tousled just a little bit you don't want it to be too stiff on you and uh, now we have sharpened taut dramatic and so sharpened taut of course i i put a low bun here but you know you can also do like a sleek bob or a sleek lob long bob um for your hair of course and the lines are pretty self-explanatory you know we have more stiff fabrics you can see the pants are pressed you know and the lines are very long everything goes toward the floor and the front tuck can actually make the lines feel longer because the the shirt will go down on the sides and you can see how it all just kind of comes together as one long line and you want to avoid a mixture of colors top to bottom too much like you don't want very contrasting colors top to bottom like a white shirt and a black pant or something i guess it would be like a cream shirt for old money aesthetic a cream shirt and navy pants you want to avoid that as a dramatic as a sharpened type you want the same color like top and bottom or similar you know you don't want it to be contrasting is the point and i always get this question well how contrasting is contrasting well, you just have to use your judgment, you know, you're not going to wear literally the same color top and bottom. Just in general, don't have it be like a statement that it's contrasting, if that makes sense. And of course, the bell buckle is geometric. And now we have sharp and soft or soft dramatic. Now with this, I would say that, you know, again, sharp and soft looks really excellent in dynamic color options, just like rounded mixed. So I did go in and make the colors a bit brighter. Um, and I also did some tapering as well for sharp and soft to bring out like some of the curves that sharp and soft has. And so I think this is going to be the old money aesthetic for sharp and soft. If you're sharp and soft, you have to remember that things are not going to look as glamorous on you as they do on other people. Like that same outfit is going to look completely glamorous on a classic, you know, on a blended type. And on you, it's going to look understated and old money, you know? So, so you have to remember that as a sharpened soft type, you are, you have some of the most glamorous lines out there and it's counterintuitive to think that actually you have a hard time looking glamorous, if that makes sense, because your lines are already inherently glamorous. So you don't have to worry that your hair is going to look too glamorous or, you know, the the cinching at the waist or whatever it is is going to look too glamorous it's going to look just right on you so that is sharp and soft and now we have the mixed types so we have mixed taut flamboyant gamine and uh, for this i did i guess i kept the softer color for the top but i made the the pant a bit darker and so we have short lines we have boxy shapes so we have stiff fabrics boxy shapes the top is pretty boxy and the um yeah, the, the shoes are a bit more chunky and the belt is a bit more chunky. And so, you know, with the top being a bit more stiff in its texture, you can get more of those like geometric shapes from how the top folds, from how you can fold the sleeves up and make them more cropped, you know? So, so that's something if you have short lines, you know, just rolling your sleeves up is a great idea because that's going to create the cropped effect you know it's going to create that three-quarter sleeve effect so yeah so it, some stiff fabrics and the pants are also more of a stiff fabric and they're pressed so uh, so yeah and then chunky detailing chunky belt chunky shoes so so yeah and the hair you know i made it pretty short i think that for old money you probably want to go for short hair if you're mixed taut because if you have long hair if you're mixed taut it really should be very very tousled and very very big and i think that may not really like match with the old money aesthetic so i would recommend short hair if you are going for this aesthetic if you're mixed taut okay so let's see finally mix soft soft gamine so soft gamine is um all about small small detailing small scale detailing you can see the belt buckle is very small everything is very small and tiny and very precision tailored so that's what we have here and i left the hair the same you know um makes soft soft I mean looks great with with short hair uh with a short bob you could do a short tousled bob as well or you could just do a short bob so so that is for mixed soft
so that is it you guys that's all i have to say about the old money aesthetic let me know in the comments what you thought if you enjoyed this video and if you are still confused about your body type or color type take a look around my channel i have a ton of videos on how you can type yourself and i also offer typings through my website and all of those are linked below okay so leave me a comment and i will talk to you next time all right bye